Item number SCP-6363 Security Level 5 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Foundation AIC NN SN65KB has been programmed to monitor social media sites and delete any instances of SCP-6363 it discovers. Any individuals unable to pass a memetic hazard resistance test above 90% are not permitted to access this file. Description SCP-6363 refers to a series of images estimated to be class 4 memetic hazards. When viewed, these images cause a compulsion effect, forcing the viewer to share the image with others. Typically, through the use of an internet or by showing digital photographs to nearby subjects. It is currently unknown how many instances of SCP-6363 are currently in circulation, but it is estimated that over 50% of the global population has been exposed to an instance of SCP-6363 at some point. Numerous tests have been conducted to determine whether SCP-6363 has any other anomalous properties, but no conclusive results have been found outside the compulsion to share, and a mildly humorous response. While it is possible the humor response is a natural reaction to the image, the general nonsensical nature of SCP-6363 has led senior staff to the conclusion that this is connected to the main compulsion effect. Although the purpose of SCP-6363 is unknown, the extremely powerful memetic effect had led the O5 Council to believe it may have been created for malicious purposes. As such, knowledge pertaining to SCP-6363 has been restricted to Level 5 clearance until further notice. Update on June 17th, 2021. A vote has been held by the O5 Council to approve the use of amnestic treatment for Foundation staff members exposed to SCP-6363. A transcript of this meeting has been recorded below. Begin log. Alright everyone, I trust you're all aware of the gravity of this situation. SCP-6363 has been spreading into our staff members uncontrollably, and someone has proposed the use of amnestics to stamp it out. This plan currently only includes our staff. We haven't had the resources to get SCP-6363 out of 4 billion people. Of course, it would also be performed alongside our current memetic resistance training. It would be expensive doing both, but we can't just let SCP-6363 take everyone outside this council. Who knows what nefarious mind is behind this? Or what they want from us. I mean, look at this! O57 presents an instance of SCP-6363 on a slideshow. The image depicts a polar bear emerging from a hole in the ice, with the caption, One jaw. Based on the depiction of a large predator preparing to attack the viewer, I think it's clear that this was intended as a sign of aggression. We need to... What the frick are you guys doing? Excuse me? I've been on vacation for like a week and suddenly you boomers are calling memes in an anomaly? No, I need I remind you just who you're talking to. What a same rank one! Look, I get that it's hard for someone born in the 1880s to understand what the kids were into these days. But I never thought you'd go this far. Security! All five dying has been infected with SCP-6363. What? It's not an anomaly, it's just a thing people do for fun on the internet. Fun? Since when is sending random pictures with nonsensical captions considered fun? Or though you raise a good point about the internet thing, I've always had a hunch it was just a front for something paranormal. Jesus Christ! Yes? I don't know what you're on about, Nine, but I think it's clear you've been missing your memetic resistance training. Look! I can prove this is all fake. Here, look at this picture. 
059 shows the console his cellular phone, displaying an instance of SCP-6363. Luckily, the memetic resistance of all other members will come to protect them from the anomalous effects. SECURITY! And no. Following the meeting, the council voted 12 to 1 to enact a mass anemicization of all foundation staff members exposed to SCP-6363. O59 has been forcibly placed under quarantine to prevent any future attempted infections of the council.